Welcome to our video where we're going to take a look at the largest and most complex machines ever built by humans. These engineering marvels are a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to push the boundaries of what's possible. Join us as we explore some of the most impressive machines ever created and learn about the incredible engineering that goes into making them work. Number 1. The Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is the largest and most complex machine ever built by humans. It is a particle accelerator that spans a 27-kilometer, 17-mile, circular tunnel located beneath the border between Switzerland and France. The LHC was constructed between 1998 and 2008, and it began operations in 2008. The Large Hadron Collider was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, with the aim of studying the smallest known particles in the universe, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons. The machine uses powerful magnets to accelerate particles to nearly the speed of light, and then smashes them together to create new particles. Scientists then study the properties of these particles to better understand the fundamental laws of physics. The construction of the Large Hadron Collider was a massive undertaking that involved thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians from around the world. It took 10 years to build and cost around $10 billion. The Large Hadron Collider consists of several different components, including superconducting magnets, accelerating cavities, and detectors. Superconducting magnets are used to steer and focus particle beams around the collider, while accelerating cavities are used to accelerate particles too near the speed of light. Detectors are used to measure the properties of particles produced in collisions. The Large Hadron Collider operates at extremely low temperatures, near absolute zero, minus 271.3 degrees centigrade, which allows the superconducting magnets to operate without resistance. The machine can accelerate particles to energies of up to 13 TeV, tera electron volts, making it the most powerful particle accelerator in the world. The Large Hadron Collider has already made several significant discoveries, including the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, which confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, and helped to explain why particles have mass. The collider also continues to search for new particles, and to test predictions made by theories such as supersymmetry and extra dimensions. Number 2. The Crawler Transporter. The Crawler Transporter is indeed one of the largest and most complex machines ever built by humans. It was built to transport the Saturn V rocket, which was used in the Apollo moon missions. The Crawler Transporter was designed and built by Marion Power Shovel Company, and it was completed in 1965 after almost two years of construction. The Crawler Transporter is a massive machine that measures 40 meters, 131 feet long, 35 meters, 114 feet wide, and 6 meters, 20 feet high. It weighs over 2,700 metric tons, 6 million pounds, and has 8 tracks, each of which is 3.7 meters, 12 feet wide and 4.5 meters, 14.5 feet long. The Crawler Transporter can travel at a maximum speed of 2.5 kilometers, 1.5 miles per hour which may not sound like much, but it can carry a load of up to 6,136 metric tons, 13.5 million pounds, making it one of the strongest machines on the planet. The construction of the Crawler Transporter began in 1963, and it took almost two years to complete. The project was a joint effort between NASA and the Marion Power Shovel Company, with a team of over 1,000 engineers, technicians, and laborers working on it. The Crawler Transporter was built specifically to transport the Saturn V rocket from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad, which required the machine to traverse over rough terrain and withstand extreme weather conditions. The Crawler Transporter has been used for many important missions, including the Apollo Moon missions, the Space Shuttle program, and other NASA missions. It has also been used to transport other large payloads, such as oil rigs and power plant equipment. Number 3. The Antonov An-225 Maria. The Antonov An-225 Maria is widely recognized as the largest and most complex machine ever built by humans. It is a super-heavy transport aircraft designed and built by Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine. The aircraft's name, Maria, means dream in Ukrainian. Here are some details about the Antonov An-225 Maria. The Antonov An-225 Maria is a massive aircraft with a wingspan of 88.4 meters, 290 feet, a length of 84 meters, 275.5 feet, and a height of 18.1 meters, 59 feet. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, 1.41 million pounds. The construction of the Antonov An-225 Maria began in 1984 as a part of the Soviet space program to transport the Buran space shuttle. It took nearly four years for the aircraft to be completed, and its first flight was in December 1988. The design of the Antonov An-225 Maria is based on the earlier Antonov An-124 Ruslan aircraft, which is also a heavy transport aircraft. However, the An-225 Maria is significantly larger and more powerful. 
It has six turbofan engines, each with a thrust of 51,590 pounds. The Antonov An-225 Maria was designed to transport oversized and super-heavy cargo, such as spacecraft, generators, and other large equipment. The aircraft can carry a payload of up to 250 tons, 551,000 pounds, and has a range of up to 15,400 kilometers, 9,570 miles, with a full load. The Antonov An-225 Maria has several unique features that make it stand out from other aircraft. For example, it has 32 wheels on its landing gear to distribute its weight, and its cockpit is located above the cargo hull to provide better visibility during takeoff and landing. Number 4. The Aperture Spherical Radio. The Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope is the world's largest single-dish radio telescope, and is considered one of the most complex machines ever built by humans. The telescope is located in the Dadang Depression in Gizhu Province, China. The construction of the telescope began in 2011, and it was completed and opened to the public in September 2016. The construction process took approximately five years, which included building a 500-meter diameter dish, installing hundreds of support towers, and constructing a control center. The size of the telescope is impressive, with a diameter of 500 meters, making it more than twice the size of the second-largest radio telescope, the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, which was recently decommissioned. The dish consists of 4450 triangular panels made of perforated aluminum that can be adjusted to change the focus of the telescope. Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope operates at a frequency range of 70 MHz to 3 GHz, which makes it highly sensitive to detecting faint signals from distant galaxies and stars. The telescope's design allows for it to be highly accurate, with a pointing accuracy of 0.05 degrees. One of the unique features of Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope is its active surface system, which uses 2,225 actuators to adjust the shape of the dish in real time to maintain its parabolic shape, ensuring that signals are accurately received and processed. The telescope can also be tilted to observe different parts of the sky. Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope is an important tool for astronomical research, with its sensitivity allowing astronomers to study the universe's evolution, the formation of stars and galaxies, and the search for extraterrestrial life. Number 5. The Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. The Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas is truly an engineering marvel. As one of the largest cruise ships ever built, it can be considered as one of the most complex machines ever created by humans. From its immense size to its sophisticated systems, the Wonder of the Seas represents the pinnacle of modern shipbuilding technology. Measuring 362 meters in length, 66 meters in width, and 72 meters in height, the Wonder of the Seas is an Oasis-class cruise ship that boasts a staggering 18 decks. Weighing in at 236,857 gross tons, the ship is a true giant on the seas, capable of carrying up to 6,988 passengers and 2,300 crew members. With 2,867 staterooms and suites, the ship offers a wide range of accommodation options, from balcony rooms and ocean view rooms to interior rooms. The construction of the Wonder of the Seas began in April 2019 and was completed in 2022. The ship is being built by Chantiers de l'Atlantique, a French shipbuilding company that specializes in constructing large cruise ships. The construction process of a ship as massive and complex as the Wonder of the Seas is a lengthy and challenging one. It started with the assembly of the ship's steel structure, which took several months to complete. Afterward, the shipbuilders installed the ship's propulsion systems, electrical systems, and plumbing systems. The ship's interior was then constructed, which involved the installation of carpets, furniture, and decorations. Despite its immense size and complexity, the Wonder of the Seas is designed to provide a comfortable and enjoyable experience for its passengers. The ship features various amenities, such as restaurants, bars, a casino, a theater, a spa, and a fitness center. There are also many onboard activities for passengers to enjoy, such as rock climbing, surfing, and mini golf. With so much to see and do, the Wonder of the Seas is a floating city in its own right, offering a unique and unforgettable experience for its passengers. Number 6. The Bagger 293. The Bagger 293 is a machine that has captivated the world with its sheer size and complexity. Standing at an impressive height of 96 meters and stretching over 225 meters in length, it is no wonder that it has been officially recognized as the largest machine ever built by humans. The construction of this machine took approximately five years, during which engineers worked tirelessly to create a machine that was capable of moving massive quantities of material quickly and efficiently. The Bagger 293 was designed and built by the German company Krupp in 1995 for the RWE Power Ag Mining Company. 
This massive machine is primarily used for strip mining operations, where it is used to remove overburden and uncover coal and lignite deposits. Its bucket has a capacity of 45 cubic meters, and it can move up to 240,000 tons of material in a day, making it an essential tool in the mining industry. The Bagger 293 is powered by a massive 16-cylinder diesel engine that produces 16,000 horsepower. This engine drives a series of conveyors and bucket wheels that enable the machine to scoop up vast quantities of soil, rock, and debris in its bucket, and deposit it in an adjacent location. The machine moves at a speed of 2 meters per minute, which allows it to excavate vast areas of land quickly. To construct the Bagger 293, engineers had to overcome many challenges. They had to design a machine that could withstand the weight of its massive bucket and conveyor belt system, while still being able to move efficiently. The construction phase involved assembling the machine in sections, which were transported to the mining site for final assembly. The Bagger 293 requires a team of skilled operators to manage it. These operators include those who operate the excavator, the conveyor belt system, and the transportation trucks that remove the excavated material. The machine's complex system requires continuous maintenance to ensure that it operates at peak efficiency. Number 7. The Bertha Machine. The Bertha Machine, also known as the SR99 Tunnel Boring Machine, is one of the largest and most complex machines ever built by humans. It was constructed to bore a tunnel underneath the city of Seattle, Washington, in the United States, and is a remarkable feat of engineering. The Bertha Machine was designed and built by the German company Horenknikag, and it was constructed between 2011 and 2013. The Bertha Machine is an enormous cylindrical structure, measuring 326 feet long, and weighing in at 7,000 tons. It has a diameter of 57.5 feet, making it one of the largest tunnel boring machines ever constructed. The machine is powered by a 7,000 horsepower motor, and is capable of excavating up to 35 feet per day. It is also equipped with an array of sensors and cameras that allow operators to monitor the tunneling process in real time. The Bertha machine was constructed to bore a tunnel for the State Route 99 highway, which runs through the heart of Seattle. The tunnel was designed to replace the aging Alaskan Way viaduct, which was vulnerable to earthquakes, and had become a major traffic bottleneck. The tunnel is 1.7 miles long and was constructed at a depth of approximately 200 feet below ground level. The Bertha machine was able to bore through a variety of soil types, including clay, sand, and glacial till. The construction of the Bertha machine took several years to complete, with work beginning in 2011, and the machine being fully assembled in 2013. The machine was then shipped from Germany to Seattle, where it was reassembled and prepared for its tunneling mission. The tunneling process itself took more than two years to complete, with the Bertha machine breaking through to the surface in April of 2017. Number 8. The Prelude FLNG Platform. The Prelude FLNG is one of the largest and most complex machines ever built by humans. It is a floating liquefied natural gas FLNG, facility that is used to extract, process, and store natural gas offshore. The Prelude FLNG was built by Shell, the multinational oil and gas company, and is currently located in the Browse Basin, off the coast of Western Australia. The Prelude FLNG is an enormous structure that measures approximately 488 meters in length, making it longer than four football fields. It is also 74 meters wide, and has a displacement of around 600,000 tons. In addition to its size, the Prelude FLNG is also an incredibly complex machine, with over 260,000 meters of piping, and more than 50,000 sensors that monitor the facility's operations. Construction of the Prelude FLNG began in 2012, and it took approximately six years to complete. During this time, the facility was built in six separate modules, which were constructed in various shipyards around the world, including South Korea, China, and Dubai. Once all of the modules were completed, they were transported to the Browse Basin, where they were assembled into the final structure. The Prelude FLNG is capable of producing 3.6 million tons of liquefied natural gas LNG, per year, as well as 1.3 million tons of condensate, and 400,000 tons of liquefied petroleum gas LPG, per year. This makes it one of the largest FLNG facilities in the world, and a significant asset to Shell's operations. The Prelude FLNG's primary purpose is to extract and process natural gas that is located beneath the seafloor. It does this by using a series of subsea wells that are connected to the facility via flexible risers. Once the natural gas is extracted, it is then processed and liquefied using a series of compressors and heat exchangers. The liquefied natural gas is then stored in the facility's tanks until it is ready to be shipped to customers. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible machines, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos like this one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.